Dan Wetzel's article delves into the ongoing debate surrounding the 2024 WNBA Rookie of the Year race between two standout rookies, Caitlin Clark of the Indiana Fever and Angel Reese of the Chicago Sky. Both players have had incredible rookie campaigns, but Wetzel argues that Clark's stellar performance, particularly in the second half of the season, has made the debate lopsided in her favor, despite Reese's undeniable achievements. Since the WNBA's return from its Olympic break, Clark has been on a tear, averaging 24.6 points, 9.0 assists, 5.0 rebounds, and 1.0 steals per game, while shooting 50% from the field and 38.6% from three-point range. Her all-around game has propelled the Indiana Fever, a team that finished last in the league the previous year, to an impressive 6-1 record post-Olympics, securing them a playoff spot for the first time in years. Clark's leadership on the floor has been undeniable, and she is now playing at a level where she could be considered one of the top 10 players in the league, perhaps even top 5, according to Wetzel. The Fever's turnaround is largely due to Clark's ability to take control of games. Indiana, which started the season 1-8, has since gone 16-8 giving them a 17-16 overall record. Her court vision, decision-making, and deep shooting range have completely transformed the team's dynamics, making them a dangerous playoff contender that no one will want to face. Clark has shown that she can shoulder the responsibility of running the offense, drawing double teams, creating opportunities for her teammates, and extending defenses with her long-range shooting. In addition, she has contributed defensively and on the boards, further solidifying her case as the league's most complete rookie. On the other hand, Angel Reese has had a historic rookie season herself, particularly in terms of rebounding and defense. The LSU product is averaging 13.3 points and a league-leading 13.2 rebounds per game. Reese recently broke the WNBA record for most rebounds in a single season, rookie or veteran, surpassing 434 rebounds with seven games still left to play. She has also tied the WNBA rookie record for double-doubles and recorded three consecutive 20-rebound games, another WNBA first. Reese's contributions to the Chicago Sky, especially on the defensive end, have been critical. Her intensity and rebounding dominance have kept the Sky competitive, and her ability to control the glass has led to numerous extra possessions for her team. However, as Wetzel points out, while Reese is a lead in these areas, she has yet to develop the kind of offensive presence that Clark brings to the court. Her low post scoring is still a work in progress, and despite her defensive prowess, it's difficult to compare her overall impact to that of Clark's dynamic offensive skill set. Wetzel argues that the debate between Clark and Reese was more balanced earlier in the season when both rookies were adjusting to the pro game. However, as the season has progressed, Clark has clearly separated herself with her all-around brilliance. While there are still some media members, former players, and fans advocating for a co-rookie of the year award or favoring Reese for her historic rebounding, Wetzel believes these positions fail to recognize the broader impact that Clark has had on her team and the league. What makes the debate more challenging, Wetzel notes, is that by continuing to compare Reese to Clark, it inadvertently shifts the focus away from Reese's remarkable accomplishments and instead highlights what she lacks in comparison to Clark. Reese, who has had an amazing first season, should be celebrated for what she has achieved, not drawn into an unwinnable comparison with a player like Clark, whose contributions go beyond individual statistics. Clark's ability to run the offense, create plays, and shoot from deep has fundamentally altered the Fever's trajectory. Wetzel compares the situation to the NBA, where players like Ben Wallace and Dennis Rodman were historically elite defenders and rebounders, but their contributions could not eclipse the offensive impact of players like Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, or Michael Jordan. In the same vein, Reese's excellence in her role can't outshine Clark's ability to dominate the game from multiple facets. In the end, Wetzel concludes that the Rookie of the Year debate is effectively over. While Reese deserves immense praise and recognition for her rebounding, defensive skills, and potential for growth, Caitlin Clark's all-encompassing impact makes her the clear choice for the award. Clark's unique ability to control the game from the guard position, combined with her scoring, playmaking, and leadership, puts her in a category of her own. The Fever's transformation and playoff berth, driven largely by Clark's brilliance, have made her the standout rookie of 2024 and continuing the debate only detracts from the praise that both players deserve in their respective roles. Wetzel closes by emphasizing that the entrenched positions in the Rookie of the Year conversation aren't helping either player. Instead of pitting them against each other, the focus should be on celebrating two remarkable talents who are said to have long, successful careers in the WNBA.